Okay, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to do the actual Ajax part of this. Um, this will be um, all PHP. Um, now we're going to create the request, and then afterwards we're going to have to wire it actually up. So um, we're going to be using JSON for this. Now, one of the first things to do is we actually have to build uh, a call for this. So um, let's go ahead and start by creating a localized script uh, callback for the uh, bed search and we're going to create this function called WP localize script we're going to call it to um, the script that we already have we're going to call this um, Ajax object and we're going to pass in a single variable called admin URL and uh, of course the Ajax URL Ajax file and this will give access to our Ajax call okay, no semicolon there now just to make sure it works all we have to do is just refresh this Ajax object right here. Um, you can also call this well, Ajax URL. I think that makes a bit more sense. Ajax URL. And now this actually gives access straight to the Ajax URL for WordPress. We go to it, probably be a zero, yeah. Um, we're going to be using that, and this is where we're going to create our actual Ajax callbacks. That being said, let's go ahead and create an Ajax callback. So the first thing which we have to do is uh, we have to create a function called uh, our bed search, and we're going to call this bed search callback. And let's simply echo out test. And we have to actually call this callback somehow by adding two different actions. We're going to call this WP Ajax bed search. And of course, we're going to call our callback. And the next one is actually the same script, but this one has no privileges. And what this means is basically uh, regular users can do this, only admins can do this. Um, so you need both of them because we need both. And let's actually try our callback. Now, this is what determines what our um, action will be. Let's go ahead, go in here, we're going to call action bed search. You can see our test did come in. Now you'll see that there's this zero here. Um, now that's because this isn't ended. We actually have to put a die. Uh, the better way of doing this, because it's um, a WordPress site, is actually use WP die, and that's WordPress's version of die. Same, same stuff. All right, this is where it gets fun. Let's start creating our queries. So um, we're going to do a bed query. And we're going to use WP query. And of course, there's tons of documentation on WP Query online. And just to make sure it works, we can do a print R of WP Query. Let's try actually uh, making putting an argument in there. And we're of course going to 
call the post type that we established before uh, called bed, which is way up here. And let's see what happens. Yeah, looks like it's not working. Let's um, let's try actually doing the WP loop. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Uh, let's still just try it using the loop. Dev query. Have post. And let's just echo out a list. So And I forgot one thing. The post. You can see our posts do come in. You can see that we're actually missing the one. And the reason why we're missing one is because by default, there's only um, 10 included. So let's go ahead and call, uh, make it so we can just do unlimited. Uh, this can be dangerous if you're doing a ton of different ones, so feel free to change that. Negative 1 is unlimited. And you can see that we now get those 11 ones that are in our test database. Um, now that we have a query, now it's a matter of making this into uh, some JSON. Let's go ahead and make some JSON. Now let's uh, let's define our, what we're doing right here, and we are going to add to our array or add to our result. Let's do title equals get the title. And let's also pass like permalink because that's important. And while we're at it, why don't we do we also do a uh, ID because IDs are always important. I forget this one. We can actually remove this, and now let's simply echo out JSON decode, or I mean encode, and result. And let's see if it worked. So we have this. Now I have a plugin actually that parses JSON for me and it's not working and the reason why it's not working is because we have to put a header on this. I'm going to simply put a header of content type application slash JSON. And you can see now it's parsed correctly. Now this is a plugin, this obviously is actually returning like this. Um, but because uh, I was plugging it, it makes it really nice. And you can see that I'm actually returning the ID, the permalink for each one of these, uh, as well as the title. So we actually have some JSON. Now when we pass this to JavaScript, JavaScript will be able to read this in a very easy way, but we'll get to that later when we wire it all up. Let's actually create these um, searches by adding to the, the arguments 
Now, the way we're going to do this is through meta query. And you can actually add meta query to here, but um, I like to make it a separate part by simply doing uh, meta query. And because we're going to have multiple different um, items that we're searching from, let's simply do this. Now we're going to have to pass three things, the key, the value, and as well as how it compares. And because we're just looking for exact, we're just going to use an equal sign. But there's a bunch of other ones. You read the documentation on the compares. I um, just looked up meta query and um, it's all under the WP query function. And let's try the first one and um, I think the easiest one will be the with pocket since that's a true and false. And um, since it's true and false, it's either zero or one. So you can see that I have less results that are actually turning up. If I change this to zero and refresh it, you can see that these will actually all change. And we're actually doing a live query on our data right now with this function. Now let's go ahead and, and add our other ones as well. And we're gonna just do the same exact thing. It's really cool. So one's gonna be for type. And the other one's going to be for size because that's what we define them as. And let's go ahead and do the first one right in here. And we'll do the, the other one is the 90 centimeters right here. We'll see what that returns. So you can see it only gives us one result now, which is perfect. If I go in here, change this to like two, it get, doesn't give me anything. Maybe make this one right here. And there's a bunch of, since there's so many options, we um, a lot of them don't really have any variables in our test data. But of course, like when you have a full database, they would. Now, we don't want to put actual data in here. We want to go call that somehow. We're going to be using get variables. So let's go ahead and create some get variables. Um, get is returned like this. We can actually, let's go ahead and return git so I can show you. And I'll just do a die just so we can only see that. You can see that it only comes in here. Now we're going to want to add in some more variables and let's try like with pocket. You can actually see I was testing it beforehand. Um, with pocket comes in here. We're going to add another one called type. And let's do it no. And the other one we're going to do is size equals 90 centimeters. You can see that it all happens right in there. Now, uh, we obviously don't want to do this raw thing right here. So we can return it by doing, let's say, um, Let's actually uh, see if we can get one with actual data. And let's see what happens if we do just one. Okay, cool. So we'll do this. So let's do the with pocket first, since that's the uh, the easiest one. So. I like to just do this, and we're going to give it a zero first, just in case there's, there's nothing there. Now, uh, we want to make sure our variable is actually there so we don't have uh, any errors.
and we are going to then define this. Sorry, my bad. Um, we're going to find this as this. Now, this is actually a security concern. You can um, people can do some like injections on this um, because they can type in uh, something that you're not expecting. So the way you fix that is we need to actually um, sanitize this. Sanitize text field. And since this is has to be an int, we can just do a int val as well. And this actually we have this right there. And now let's go ahead and test our data. With width pocket one, width pocket zero. Awesome. We're able to test both things. So now we have to do the the two others. Now the two others are going to be very similar. Let's actually do this in the same order as we have below. We have a type we don't need the infal. since this is actually a string. And passing the size. And now we're actually ready to test out our function. We have this, now let's try like 180, let's try a 150, you can see that it is working. Um, let's try a type of 2, how about a 4, you can continue testing, you can see that it returns different for each thing. Um, so this is actually the PHP of this, um, complicated, not not super, super complicated. Um, after this, we now have to uh, call this from um, right here using this Ajax URL that we called over here. We're all set up. The only thing we're, that we have left is to actually run this Ajax call within JavaScript. And that'll be the last step in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.